Hello YouTube! Welcome to Lizzie Fay Loves Books. I'm Elizabeth and as you can see I am at home at least for the moment. Uh, Emily is not at home. She's still in the hospital. We're looking at probably another week at least before she is going to be strong enough to be released but she is improving. Um, still trying to figure out what's causing uh, daily fevers but other than that she is recovering gradually from the seizures and and the extra meds and and all of that so uh, I am just home for the day it's my husband's day off he's off again tomorrow but I'm gonna go back in the morning early so that he can have a day at home before heading back to his uh, work week so uh, anyway I, I've been busy all day it's like early mid afternoon right now and I've been doing laundry all day and just general house cleaning and things like that and um, I just wanted to take a quick minute to do the second part of my birthday book haul because I'm really curious to see what is in this box from my sister now she sent it to me on time it was here before my birthday but I didn't open it uh, last weekend when I was home I guess I thought you know we'll we'll be home for my birthday and of course we weren't so I didn't even think to take it with me so I could open it at the hospital so I want to open it now and, uh, and see what she sent me now I was pretty sure that she was gonna send me books because a couple of weeks ago she called me in a hurry she said I'm at a library book sale I, I just you know passed by and they were having a sale and so I came in and they've got Aunt Dimity books and I I just wondered which ones you don't have and I'm just you know she just was kind of feeling me out for what I um, what I might want and and you know based on what they had and I mean I didn't say that right she was finding out what I had and didn't have and all that so that she could pick out something to send me and so I was pretty sure that this whole box was gonna be books because it's labeled media mail and so let's just see what she sent so she wrote little notes on some of the things um, she's oh <laughs> here's what she says this isn't even on Goodreads but I'm including it it might be a good light heartwarming read so it is uh, the sweet briar bride it is um, it's published by guidepost and that's probably why a lot of older guidepost books are not on Goodreads or if they are the information is real sketchy it says it's the complete sequel to sweet briar so hopefully I won't have to read Sweet Briar first, but if I do, I will try to find it. All right, so, and because it's guidepost, I'm going to assume that it is Christian fiction. Oh, here is a Mitch Album book. I have been curious to read Tuesday with Maury. This one is called For One More Day, and I haven't heard of this one. It says, uh, this got excellent reviews. Uh, they had two copies, so I bought one for each of us. Maybe we can buddy read it sometime. Oh, that'd be great. So, um... Anyway, Charlotte, let me know when you want to read it. Maybe I can squeeze it in for nonfiction November if you want. And this is the second Mary Higgins Clark book that she has sent me. Uh, she sent me one a couple years ago and I haven't read it yet. I need to read it. She says, got this at the used bookstore. Uh, it got 3.92 stars on Goodreads. Well, I'm excited to see that my sister is using Goodreads. <laughs> That's awesome. I don't think she was on Goodreads until I told her about it. And um, so now it's awesome to see that she is utilizing it. This is A Stranger is Watching, Mary Higgins Clark. She said uh, that she's read a few Mary Higgins Clark books that she has enjoyed. Uh, here is one that might be a cozy mystery. It's got a cat on the front. Dirty Deeds, A Grime Solver's Mystery by Suzanne Price. So there is a, a rather suave looking cat on the cover. This got mixed reviews, but the premise sounds cute and I thought I'd send it. And probably because it has a cat on the front, she knows that I'm all about cats. There's one wrapped gift. I'll save that to the end. Here's another Mary Higgins Clark. And it is, Where Are the Children? She said this got 4.02 stars on Goodreads, so that's good. Looks like we got quite a few cozy mysteries. Oh, this is about a cat vet detective. So, how could I not get it <laughs> with a smiley face? That's cute. I've never, not heard of this one. Hair Today, Dead Tomorrow by Cynthia Baxter. So that's awesome. Mixed reviews, but it sounds interesting. Um, she got, said she got this one and one of the previous ones at a used bookstore when she was with her friend. All Booked Up by Terry Curran. Eccentric to be sure, but absent-minded is what it says on the back. It sounds like me. 
Oh, now here's the Aunt Dimity books. Oh, nice. There's, oh, there's three of them. Awesome. Aunt Dimity Vampire Hunter. I did not have that. Aunt Dimity and the Family Tree. I did not have that. And Aunt Dimity and the Lost Prince. I did not have that, obviously, because she called me to see which ones I had. So this is awesome. And these are nice hardcover books. Excellent. Very nice. Oh, she did sneak something in that's not a book. I have to tell the Postal Service. <laughs> this is cute. It's a little cat figurine. Two cats in a shoe. How cute. I wonder if it's an ornament. I thought maybe it was a Christmas ornament, but it's, um, I think it's just something you sit on a shelf. That is really sweet. Can you see it through the plastic? All right. Oh, there's another Aunt Dimity. I didn't get to the bottom of the box. Aunt Dimity and the Wishing Well. Nice. I, this may complete my Aunt Dimity collection. All right. Um, this might be a fun, cozy mystery, but probably not very deep reading. <laughs> it's a catered birthday party by Isis Crawford. I think I've heard of her. It says it's a mystery with recipes. Oh, look at the dog on the cover. How cute. A little pug. Some reviews said this book was a slow start, but it got almost five, four stars. I might have this one, Charla. Uh, but if I do, if you want to read it, I can send it back to you and we can buddy read this one. Roses Will Bloom Again by Lori Copeland. Lori Copeland is becoming one of my new favorite Christian authors uh, of fiction. And um, I have enjoyed everything I've read by her. All right, Lori Wick, uh, another one of my favorite Christian authors. This book got great reviews by believers. The non-Christians did not like it. I guess that's not surprising. <laughs> so um, it's from the Rocky Mountain Memories series, Where the Wild Rose Blooms. That looks pretty. Very nice. Again, also, she's a Christian author. So like she said, it's not surprising that, um, you know, non-Christians, you know, wouldn't, wouldn't necessarily appreciate the theme. All right, one more book, and then it looks like there's another little wrapped package. This is called Just Desserts by Barbara Breton. I don't think this one is a mystery. This might just be like women's fiction, a romance. Okay, very good. It says, this got good reviews, and I love the cover. I know, the cover is nice. Look at that. I'll let you see it a little bit better while I read it. Uh, it's number four in a series, but sounds like it could be a standalone. So that answered my question about whether it's in a series. It's number four in a series. I am not familiar with this author at all. And here's another little little wrap thing. Let's see what this is. She tied it up good. Candy. Oh, look at this. It's a pin that says Bookmobile. How cute is that? It is by, I guess this is the maker of it, Rather Keen Art and Accessories. On Instagram, he's at Rather Keen or www.ratherkeen.com if you want to look up and see where you can get yourself a Bookmobile pin. And then she sent me, I guess this is tea flavored candy. That'd be interesting. Green, green something. I can't read it in the fine print without my reading glasses. All right, and then there's one more that looks like might be a book or it might be something in a box. I can't tell. It could be a book in a box. Let's see. Oh, I think it's, um, it's thank you cards. So I can write her a thank you note. <laughs> this is really cute. Uh, it says, you're the best. Thank you. So, Sharla, right back at you. You're the best. Thank you. And I will send this to you. <laughs> uh, so, these are all from my sister, Sharla. If you look through the comments uh, on most of my videos, she comments. She's a quilter. And um, my most watched video on my channel is the video where I did a book, a, a 
book tour, I guess, of my bookcase quilt. And uh, and that was made by her. So if you haven't seen that and you want to uh, to see that, it is on my channel. It's probably searchable. If you just type uh, on my channel, search bookcase quilt, and, uh, and you'll be able to see it there. She is amazing, super creative, and... Um, and awesome so thanks Charla so much for my gifts and my books thank you thank you thank you if you want to see part one of my book haul which were was mainly books that I got for myself when um, I, I took an excursion from the hospital uh, and then also the nurses and child life specialists pulled together some books for me and and gave me as a surprise while I was at the hospital with Emily. So um, that's it for this video. I'm going to upload this one and then if I have time uh, at the end of the day I will also film basically all the books that I got in October that were not included in other book hauls that I've already filmed. I've got just a random sampling, mostly cozy mysteries so uh, and, and all secondhand. So I will uh, hopefully be uploading that video sometime soon. <laughs> so that's all for this video. I hope you are having a great day. Uh, just keep us in your prayers. I'll be heading back to the hospital and um, I, I love you guys. Thank you so much for everything. Um, read a good book and God bless you.